Don't make me hangry. You wouldn't like me when I'm hangry. What's up, Throttlers? Aristotle Full Throttle here, and there's a brand new teaser for Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is the third installment of the Thor series. So there was Thor, then there was Thor the Dark One, and now there's this one. It's gonna be the 17th Marvel Universe movie, which is kind of remarkable. One can remark upon that. Thor Ragnarok features the Hemsworth, and not the Hemsworthless. Oh! It's gonna have Mark Ruffalo, Tom Hiddleston as Loki, Idris Elbow is gonna be in it, it's gonna have Kate Blanchett as Hella, and she looks hella wicked. Anthony Hopkins is coming back as like a homeless version of Odin. That's interesting. And Tessa Thompson is gonna play Valkyrie. <laughs> That's my best flight of Valkyrie. Carl Urban is gonna be in it, not as Judge Dredd and not as Keith Urban. I'm excited to see Hulk and Thor reunite. The last we saw Thor, he was taking a bath, and the last time we saw Hulk, he was in the Quinjet on autopilot into, I guess, outer space. And that was in Avengers 2 Age of Voltron. What I hope to see in this trailer is some Thor and Hulk fighting, because every time Thor and Hulk get together to fight, it's awesome. I mean, just look at this happening here. Well, almost every time. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this, even though the Thor movies as solo movies haven't been that spectacular. I liked them. They're more toward the bottom of the ranking order in terms of general goodness, I guess. But this one might prove to be a little bit different because the Marvel Universe is now teaming up heroes in their solo flicks. And this one's gonna be Thor and Loki and the Hulk, and it's gonna be some kind of buddy flick. It's actually directed by Taika Waititi, not to be confused with Taika Hiken Wakiki, which would be nice. I mean, that's that sounds nice. But Taika Waititi is known for his comedy, which might be a really cool angle on this whole over-the-top epic Hollywood movie Marvel Universe if they put a little bit of an indie road trip spin on one of these movies. And as we've seen with Logan, that worked out pretty good. But something I think will come along pretty soon that will be a moment of punctuated equilibrium, as it were. One movie is gonna come along in Hollywood, and then every movie's gonna try to be that movie. And I guess that's just the natural progression of cinema. And that movie might have been Logan, but, uh... Let's watch this trailer. Joe, headphones, please. What do you mean? Give me the headphones. Don't make me angry, Joe. You better give me those headphones! Thanks. This might be a new look for me. Beach is that way. Alright. Thor Ragnarok. Oh. It's like uh, Chronicles of Riddick when he was with the chain. Well, I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking? How did this happen? It's exactly what I was thinking. Well, it's a long story. Got some... What? How'd she do that? Oh! That was hella wicked! Led Zeppelin? Asgard is dead. Hi there. This is already better than the first two Thor movies. Right today, tell me. Oh, a contender. BF Golden. There's Loki. It's main event time. Are you kidding me? This is so cool. Gladiator style. Are you not entertained? I give you. Nice. <laughs> we know each other. He's a friend from work. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, my God. 
I like it. It's kind of not fair when you use Led Zeppelin's Immigrant Song, because it just gets you pumped anyway. But that's pretty much the perfect song for this trailer, because the song's all about Vikings. And Robert Plant even mentions the Hammer of the Gods in the lyrics. Looks like they're putting the rock in Ragnarok. Of course, the term Thor Ragnarok actually does come from Norse mythology. It was their version of Armageddon. or the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. It was like the ancient Vikings version of the movie 2012. The visuals were pretty cool, very colorful, looked a lot like Guardians of the Galaxy style. They're taking pages out of that book because you've got the collector's broham, Jeff Goldblum playing the Grand Master. Thor speaking directly to camera, which is interesting because that means they're switching up the narrative style where Thor can break the fourth wall or maybe he's talking to another person in the story. Like in Iron Man 3 when the narration was Tony Stark just talking to Bruce Banner the whole time. Hella just took Mjolnir and smashed it with one hand? I don't, I can't even, I don't even, she didn't care. Thor's got a haircut, they're in an arena, it appears he doesn't know what kind of trouble he's in. He's fighting the Hulk, all hell is breaking loose, it's mass hysteria. And check out that helmet. Pretty cool. Overall, excellent teaser. I'm very excited. I want to see what happens. Well, that's what I think about this trailer, but I want to know what you think. And the only way I can do that is if you write what you think in words and then put those words in the comments below. So go ahead and do that. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to this channel if this is your first time here. I don't know why you haven't already subscribed, but you know, I guess there's first time for everything. So turn on those notifications. And I want to hang out with you at VidCon. I'm going to be there from June 21st to June 24th. And if you're in the Anaheim area, come and hang out. We'll talk about movies and stuff. And I got stickers. So if you go to Patreon and pledge as little as a dollar a month to this channel, I'll send you a sticker of my head. So as soon as you pledge, private message me these details and I'll get that sticker right out to you. I'm Aristotle Full Throttle, you bro with a no with the fro. And I'll see you later. <clears throat> Much better. Just needed a little tea. It's fine now. See ya.